Hi everyone, James here with another review. This time I'm doing a review of the Lego Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man 3 Malibu Mansion Attack. Now just from the box cover alone, this looks like a great set. Honestly. I mean, you know, we have a mini comic book. We have Tony Stark, Pepper Potts, the Mandarin, uh, an extremist soldier, and the Mark 42 armor. Now we have an extremist helicopter. We got part of Tony's Malibu mansion. Uh, you know, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. But basically, if you've seen enough TV advertisements or TV spots, as they're called in the US, basically you would have already seen Pepper, you know, suiting up. Now, you haven't, if you haven't already seen it, I won't spoil anything. Just take in what you see. Take in what you see. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, but this is as much as it's getting. But basically, artwork, it looks great. Um, we have a nice cartoon Iron Man. On the top, we have, you know, Mark 42. On the back, there's a huge lot of stuff going on. We have exploding windows, exploding art gallery. Gallery. Uh, we have Tony working on a suit and his little robot helper. Looks great. Uh, we have the extremist helicopter. Firing missiles. Mandarin versus Iron Man. I just love voice acting. Yeah, that isn't working out. Uh, basic basically, um, we have Tony's workshop in the Malibu mansion. We have the little robot thing again, nice little kitchen, and Tony's rotating chair. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. Now, as for the set itself, this has to be the strongest Iron Man set of the LEGO Iron Man 3 series. I mean, we have five minifigures, a little robot, robot helper thingy, a helicopter, and part of the mansion. Okay, now I go just looking at the minifigures first. For the Mandarin, this is a great looking figure. I mean sorry. I mean it just looks great with the cape in it. He just looks great with the cape and everything. His gun, although it is quite repetitive now, it still is a good gun. It's pretty darn cool too. So no arguments there. Um, articulation wise it's the exact same as any minifigure. The head does rotate, but you know it's a bit caught up in there at the minute. Head goes then the arms go up and down, all the way back. The pivot 360 at the wrist. Legs go all the way back and all the way forward. So yeah. Um now if we take off all his headgear, quite literally, um he has a little bit of a stern looking face. Then he has a really grinful sort of looking face. Um, now, if I take off his key, yep, he's a little bit of nice detail on his back. But on his, but on the front, there is a heck of a lot of detail, which regrettably, the beard covers up all this beautiful detail. I mean, look, there looks as though there's a mini arc reactor. That looks awesome. Now again, all the details similar, it's all there, or in the articulation again, similar. It's pretty much the exact same for all the minifigures in this set, it's so, I mean, they're going to all of them, all of them about their individual articulation, excluding the, the <coughs> Mark 42, because I'm going to do it. Now for the extremist soldier, it looks great, I mean, we've you know, dark grey. We've really, really cool dark red highlights all over the place. We've black outlines, a little bit of silverish detailing. The zip thing actually looks great. It's this little thing here. That, I think, is a great addition. Um, again, details, the ex um, well, articulation is the exact same. Detailing on the back is great as well, but the, gr the great thing I find is, and you can actually start to see it there already, is that the head does in fact glow in the dark. Now, I know LEGO have already done this for like their LEGO Monster Hunters or Monster Fighters set series, but I just think the glowing head thing looks great. Yeah, you can see it glowing a little bit green there now, but basically it is hard to see whenever you're trying to get it dark and everything, because really, you know, bright out, and then there's the bright setup. 
So yeah, uh, light plus light doesn't equal great darkness. So yeah, now it does come with two heads, and this one is far more extremist looking. You know, he's like, what up, do his extreme. <laughs> uh, again, I, I just love voice acting. Sorry, um, but basically his extremist face does look great. Um, yeah. Now, as for Tony Stark, good God, this is awesome. I mean, the... We have Tony Stark. I mean, I guarantee you anything. Robert Downey Jr. Ha bought this set and now somewhere in his luxurious mansion has this very minifigure on display. I mean, how often is it that you can say to your friends, check it out, this is me in my Lego incarnation. Honestly, I want a Lego incarnation. Honestly. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, but basically, you know, great, great detail. You know, we have basic colours like black, dark greyish, uh, a little bit of white highlights. He has a great blue arc reactor right, or, yeah, arc reactor right in the middle of his chest. It is the triangle one, and it is very, very nicely detailed. Only thing is, the camera isn't really good for full HD photos, or, or no, sorry, full HD video and stuff like that. So yeah, unfortunately, but it just looks great. I mean, he's, he actually has two heads, the first being this one, and the first being his sort of OMG, I'm gonna die face. <laughs> so yeah. Now we actually, now we now have Pepper Potts. I mean, I'm pretty sure Gwyneth Paltrow has probably done the same thing as Danny Jr. Only thing is, somehow this doesn't feel 100% and like, Gwyneth Patro, it's a, it's actually a similar thing with, um, in fact, if you give me a moment. Somehow, it doesn't feel the exact same with, um, Amy Adams as Lois Lane in the DC, in the DC Superman, um, Man of Steel movie. Somehow, it doesn't just look the exact same, exact same in Lego. Somehow, I don't know, I don't know, honest, but... Never. Um, but basically, extremely cool detail. You know, front and back. Um, her piece, uh, pretty -ish, standard dish. Very, very nice facial detail. I mean, we ha we even have freckles. That's something we don't actually have often in terms of Lego. And then, you know, she's the same thing as Tony. She's a happy face, then a sort of oh no face. So, yeah. In the event that you are wondering why am I explaining the faces like this, I don't exactly know the correct terms or words for this thing because, truthfully, see what I'm doing with my eyes? Yeah, that basically proves how crazy I am. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. But here we have the Mark 42 armor. Now, I, although this is the primary set for the movie, it doesn't feel, it isn't one of my favorites, I'm afraid to report. Because basically, well, the gold is too dominant, basically put. But, you know, again, articulation is the exact same. But having said that the gold is too dominant, there is great detail. Excuse me, I won't lie. The silver in it really, really helps. Helps break it up. Um, now, the helmet, the faceplate actually does lift up and down. And you actually get a little bit of a, you actually get a blank head for, you know, reasons that I'll show you later, but basically, you know, it's great to have another Lego Iron Man minifigure. I mean, I officially have, what is it, four of them. The only thing now is that I need two more. I need the Mark 7, and I need the Mark um, something or other, which is Iron Patriot. Um, now, I'm actually going to turn the camera to me for a moment, because I need help. Not in terms of the, I'm... Can you guys actually see me? Yeah, you should be able to. Um, basically, not because I'm in, you know, not because I'm insane, which I'm not, by the way. I, I just make fun of myself sometimes. Basically, the only reason I need the Mark 7 is because I'm thinking about doing a Lego Iron Man 3 stop motion mini series this summer. The word is officially out. I just said it, and yeah. Now, the thing is, I need 
Now, I'm actually going to ask this really, really simply. If anyone is looking to get rid of a LEGO Adventures Quinjet, now if you don't know what it looks like, just go and Google search it in Google Images. The LEGO Adventures Quinjet, which basically includes Black Widow, Thor, the Mark 7 Iron Man suit. Um, be, uh, put simply, it's basically um, the next Iron Man suit right after this one, which is the Mark 6. Um, basically, it's the one with the little circles, the center chest piece like this one, only, you know, basically other, in other stuff. But basically, around this sort of clip in the video, I'm going to post a link um, to a sort of image or something. Now, of course, it might not work, but if you just type that into Google in, or up in the URL, just at the very top of the page, basically that will help you find the image that, that you're meant to be looking for. Uh, anyway, long story short, if anyone is looking to get rid of a Lego Avenger of a Lego Avengers Quinjet with all those minifigures, um, I desperately, desperately need one. I can't offer anyone money right now, but I'm sure I can trade you something. In fact, Now, I am actually willing to trade anyone a, a Hero Factory brain, um, Savage Planet Rocka XL. Now, if you don't believe me, still in its box, and no, well, other than right here, I'm willing to admit, there is no damage to the box, and the product has never been opened, okay? So, you will get this straight out of the box, and straight as it was, you know, as though it had just been bought, okay? Now, if you're willing to trade with me, please go to the Facebook page called um, For Awesome People. It's basically a Transformers Facebook page, um, or a fan, Transformers fan Facebook page, which I'm part of, and a few other people. But basically, if you go there and say that you, you will trade me for, um, trade me the Quinjet for that, I will be grateful. Speaking of which, back to the review. And they've just waited, wasted 12 minutes of everyone, everyone's lives. Sorry. But basically, here we now have the little robot. Robot helper that you would see around Tony's ga garage and whatnot in the Iron Man movies. But basically, this is a really cool looking set. I mean, we even have a little briefcase. But the most significant thing is that it is the Mark V armor. Well, well basically put it's the brief it's the suitcase armor we saw in Iron Man 2 and it is really cool that Lego considered that and it is and it is nice that you know he's able to hold it and everything sorry I thought I heard a noise there yeah sorry um but basically you know it is really cool now of course it doesn't expand into the Mark 5 armor you know it just opens up it's a basic little briefcase as for the robot itself, it does look cool. I mean, it has a little fire extinguisher and it can hold it extremely easily. Now, in terms of articulation, you know, it has about three points of articulation. The first being here, here, and here. So yeah, um, pretty basic articulation, but it's still extremely cool that we have this new minifigure, or this little robot helper thing. So yeah. Now as for the Extremes helicopter, it does look great. I mean the colours match perfectly somehow. I don't know why. It just looks great. I mean we have dark grey, black, dark green, translucent yellow, yellow, a little bit of silverish highlights, goldish highlights, uh, light grey, uh, translucent red, um, Probably, I already mentioned black, again, translucent green, and light grey. Or translucent green, in the in case I said grey there, sorry. But basically, uh, propellers rotate as you'd expect them to, uh, so does the back propeller, which is really cool. You have four firing missiles, which you can just flick out. 
and you can actually put the extremist soldier into the cockpit so all you need to do is take off the lid sort him out put him into this into there open put on the lid and there you have a pilot as the mandarin well he can stand on either side of the helicopter aim his gun and say you'll never see me coming no wait wait wait, wait. let me try that gun <coughs> Never see me coming. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Um, basically, what was I? Okay. Oh, yeah. Then taking all the all the good guys here, we can actually take a look inside the mansion. And um, just as a little bit of a heads up, I know there were other stickers here that were meant to go on, being the Hall of Armor stickers and alert stickers but basically i think it looks cooler without them besides i could i could actually rebuild this into something else else if i wanted to but basically you know here we have the inside of the sort of garage or set however you want to put it um now the incredible thing is we have a mini um what you call it um suit gallery now i just think that is so cool now, it's re it really shows how much LEGO consider this stuff. And the cool thing is, now unfortunately I don't have, as I said, the Mark 7, but I do have the Mark 6, which has to be my number one favorite Iron Man set. So, da -da -da, two Iron Man sets up and running. Somehow this feels like Christmas, but near summer. Oh well. <laughs> But basically, here is the set, and it is looking pretty darn cool. Now, there are plenty of actually very impressive hidden features. One being this little lever at the very top. So watch this window. Now, basically, that has the win. That basically has the window explode outward. So basically, voila. Yeah, and like we actually saw on the box on the box cover. There's a little bit of a handle here, and Tony can just hold on to that as if he's hand, um, hanging over the edge, clinging for dear life. Which could be rather funny, if you thought about it. So yeah. Now, just to fix it back up, it's extremely easy to do. Just, just line the thing up inside. Then the other thing that... Lego actually included for this set was if you actually now I'm gonna pull back on this little red lever here which is gonna push that way just pay attention to what happens inside here wait let me try again yeah basically if you haven't already seen the gazillion Iron Man 3 trailers or ad advertisements on TV or whatever basically the Hall of Armor blows up which basically destroys the primary seven, or the first seven suits Tony creates. The Mark VI was my favorite. And they destroyed it! Hulk, Hulk angry! <laughs> breathe, James, breathe. Ah, that's better. Basically, yeah, the suit, the art gallery, or the... Why do I keep calling it an art gallery? Ugh. Basically, the Hall of Armor blows up, so on and so forth. But yeah. Now, there are a few other nice little features here. We have Tony's little rotating chair thing, which you could probably get dizzy from just from watching. Now, on the inside, we actually have some very nice little stickers. One being um, Iron Man's face, sort of on, like, blueprints or whatever. No, sorry. Anyway, um, we actually have um, what looks like the Mark 42 to Tony on this little screen here. Yeah, that's better. And then, again, we have the Iron Man helmet and so on. So, yeah. Um, we have what looks like a little bit of a workstation. We have two tools, a spanner and a hammer. We have pepper. And we have a nice little kitchen, which has a few additional little features. We have a, we have a clear 
cup thing or glass if you want to put it like that we have a smoothie maker which is very very cool that lego decided to include and we have two opening um cabinets something tells me they went to ikea for this i don't know why forgive me if that's stereo um stereotypical but it, it somehow feels like ikea now the only unfortunate thing about this sort of little section here is that it's the only thing that sticks out like a sore thumb what I mean by that is, while the rest of the set is, you know, like grey, white, maybe a little, a little bit of black, like, and very cool translucent blue, the green, the lime green here, it stands out a little bit too much. Having said that, I think this set works. And of course, we have the little robot helper. Now, in all, this is a fan... Oh, by the way, by the way. Um... This set does include the Mark 42, but it doesn't include the Mark 6. Okay, so I, I already have this set, or this set. So basically, don't be confused. It only comes with the one minifigure of Iron Man, okay? But basically, um, this is the review complete. Do I recommend you go out and get this? Um, have I already said that it's great? Yes? Then that means go out and buy it, please! Um, now basically, of course, it is awesome and so on and so forth, but the moral of the story is that this is a great set. If you don't buy it, then you're not going to get anything out of it. Okay? And the truth of the matter is, you don't know until you until you buy it, or try it either. either. So basically, great set, go buy it, thumbs up. Okay, this is Night Slash 22 Engineer, subscribe to my channel for videos and more. Like me on Facebook by searching for Night Slash 28 Junior. Have a nice day, see you all around. Until next time, bye everyone, and take care.